here in the land of Oregon, we're having unusual weather, which is actually the norm. It's uh, not unusual to have unusual weather. We are having the first sunny day after a long streak of uh, silence. This is a, a, a day about something uh, kind of the antithesis of the season, but a similar uh, unusually warm break in the weather. It was written uh, early March 2006, and it's called An Uncommon Thaw. The lawns of grass look like animal hides, mottled by frost shock. The snow it blends with stones in sections, and other parts with grass. Hail falls, unsure of itself, and the cherry blossoms are pale. Moss grows even on the doors of cars. Zeus is drunk and has forgotten that he is in Oregon, not Alaska. To look at the sky is to see even the clouds refusing to agree on what shape to be. Little blonde girls huddle like babushkas under the bus stop awning, yellow rubber boots and fur-legging trim. The weather has taken me to a new foreign country. Athletes puffing in their blazers of navy. Cats gingerly studying the strangeness with their paws. The universe's deer hide, brown and white and green all dappled. Blots in sky of blue and sable. Harmony in motion of tumbling cool and wind confronting the sunlight. Outside, every surface is water-skinned. All is being put paid in melt. No sound is made without the wet echo sounding. But in the library, it is like staring at some aquarium, almost expecting a fish to weave amidst the ivy and the Spanish moss. On Wednesday night when I drove home, the flakes against the windshield felt like being at the bottom of the ocean. This is becoming one of those days where Portland tilts at just such an angle as to resemble the city I fell in love with, where the air is just ripe, the nature, like the suddenly confused lizards who thought this wasn't winter. The volume of the passerby is that which had brought me to Forsyth, California. I am a witness to all of nature in a silent argument against itself.